And welcome to Sean's first saxophone lesson. Okay, Sean, so here we have the reed. The reed is the most important thing on the saxophone as it produces the sound. So before you start playing, you want to soak your reed a little bit to get it a little bit softer. Just place it on your tongue and let it sit in your mouth and sit. This is the mouthpiece, and this is what we attach the reed to with the ligature. So when you put the ligature on, I'll show you how to do that in a second. This is the neck. This is what we attach the mouthpiece to, which attaches it to the main body of the instrument. So, when we put this on, we want to gently twist it back and forth, and you really want to make sure that you don't bend the neck or bend this key. Very important key. You want to twist it down until it's about right there. Okay, give me the reed. Now, when you put the reed on, you don't want it to be over top of this, and you also don't want it to be drastically underneath of the black part. You want just a thin black line. It's called the top rail, or the tip rail. And you want just a thin black line. You want to make sure it's completely up and down. And then you gently and very carefully put the ligature over it, because if you hit the top of the reed, it could nick, and then the reed is done for us. And then you want to pull your ligature down, make sure your reed is in play, go about there. Um, would you like to twist it? the ligature? That's good. Okay. So now, I'm going to put the neck strap around your neck. Actually, let me demonstrate for you. Put the neck strap on. And then there's a screw here to loosen this if your neck doesn't just slide on. Mine's pretty well greased right now, so it slides right on. Make sure it's lined up, and then twist the screw until it's tight. Now, when we hold the saxophone, um, our right thumb goes here on the thumb rest. The hook goes for the neck strap goes into this little hook, and then you put, you rest your thumb on this left key right here. It's not really a key. And then your fingers just kind of rest on the key. Okay, so first let's try it and make a sound on the head. Now your embouchure is the most important thing about playing. It's, if you have a bad embouchure, you will not be able to play the instrument in full range, and it will sound bad. So what we want to do, look at my lower lip. Tighten it across, cross your teeth like this. There you go. And then you're going to place the mouthpiece in your mouth like this over your lips, and then let your top teeth rest right here. And then close your lips around it and tighten the corners so that no air leaks out. Let me demonstrate. <laughs> Muscles, you 
it was staying longer. But that was really good. So why don't we try and play a note? I'm going to have you press down all three of these keys here, and that's a G. Press them down before you play. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> 